Have you heard about the, the holographic universe? Have you read that book? I have, I have not. So this guy basically summarized a few studies that have been done recently that show the world is essentially a hologram. So with a hologram, every piece of the hologram has a copy of the entire image. And so the idea is that in every tiny atom of our existence, inside that atom is the key or like the map of everything else in existence. And okay. uh, yeah, interestingly, like modern quantum mechanics and quantum physics has apparently shown that if you take away the empty space in between atoms or in between uh, electrons or protons and then shrunk everything down, everything would fit into a grain of sand. And uh, so, yeah, I find that really interesting. And I've seen comparisons of like th small things in nature compared to massive things. Like, for example, like uh, your eye compared to the structure of a universe. And it's very similar. And then if you look as well at like the structure of um, a galaxy compared to the structure, the, um, the way our neurons in our brain create different synaptic maps, they look almost identical, like the way they form these patterns. And then even on the, in the middle ground, like the way we build our cities, if you look at um, a picture of a city at night from above, like from a satellite image, the way we spread out naturally forms the same kind of pattern as our, the neurons in our brain and how galaxies are formed. So it's like, no matter how far in you look or how far out you look, we're following the same kind of template of creation. As above, which, so below. Hologram, right? Yeah, as above, so below, exactly. That's And that's, again, that idea is all over the ancient spiritual texts. It's in like every religion, every spiritual and historical uh, text. They seem to have like their, their version of that, as above, so below. So what does it all mean? <laughs> Definitely, it is honestly crazy. I mean, the fact, the fact that, the way I look at it is the fact that the universe almost has this line of progression, like the way that we're evolving, the, uh, the way that it um, has intrinsic patterns set in the universe, shows me that there's explicit meaning within the universe. So there's explicit, you know, direction that we're heading to, you know, whether that's, you know, humanity's ascension, whether that's, you know, the unity of everyone. I feel like there is, you know, a direction of evolution that we need to push through and not even actively need to push through because I think the universe is going to do it for us and we're just here for the ride almost in a way. Mm. Yeah, the question is, if there's a direction we're going in as a, as a species or as a, I guess, as a whole universe, are we here to experience that kind of like the observer and everything's determined, everything is like destined to happen exactly how it's going to happen? Or are we here to create or change that outcome? like using our free will to actually create something we want to experience. I'm really curious about that. Yeah, that, that is a very good question. Um, I feel like with the, the determinism and, and free will debate, I feel like there's not a set answer because everyone's level of free will is varied. Um, mm. I feel like um, depending on your level of consciousness, the factors of determinism, you know, decrease or increase. So if you've got a high level of consciousness, you have more capacity for free will. If you have a low level of consciousness, you are more inclined to deterministic factors and therefore you have a set destiny. Um, and I feel like, you know, our, our goal in life is to be the observer of um, the input that's coming into us, the deterministic factors, and then making that self-aware choice to have the free will to act against those deterministic factors. And then by developing that scale of choice through, you know, increasing our level of consciousness, we become more free will, you know, enlightened. And, and yeah, I feel like that is the path that we should do. But for to answer the question, I feel like, yeah, um, there is a variety of free will within everyone. Mm, 